Well, I think we don't need this mask today, so I'm going to take it off. Welcome to EPA 1, English for Public Administration 1. That's 1. Uh, it's sometimes called Hengjung Yonga. And my name is Professor Robert Dickey. And you can't see my name. There we go. Professor Robert Dickey. And so we will start the class. Let me just move myself around. So my first question is, have you seen the video that talks about this class? That video was produced a few years ago and it's possible to see it before you register for classes but in any case it is available now in our web system and we'll talk more about that but let's talk about the current situation you know and I know that we are in the middle of the coronavirus issue which if I mark it, you'll see something like, online you'll often see things like this, design for the coronavirus. Yeah, well. So because of this situation, we'll be working online for the first few weeks at least. And then we'll see what happens. Nobody knows. This is the problem. Nobody knows. At the moment, you can see that I'm working in my sort of messy home. Can't quite see. There's a little bit of a bookcase up here. Uh, too far off the camera. Over here. Uh, I'm trying to hide my mess. But I'm recording from home because I live in... Miryang, Miliang, uh, and I don't need to go into Daegu often, so I'll not. You can also see that up at the top here we have kind of a running clock, and I'll try to use that so that you guys know where we are, but more importantly, so I know where we are. When you're watching this, you'll be able to see a running clock through the campus system. And of course, if you watch it in YouTube, you could see a running clock there also. So no one knows how long we're going to be in this environment. Officially, the government says that we are supposed to be careful at least until March 23 when elementary schools are currently scheduled to return to school elementary school middle school and high school university our university we're planning to return to school about March 29th but no one really knows no one knows how long we'll all be off campus so, at least for two weeks, we're going to do it this way, and it's new for everyone. And I have taught online before, but not this way. So, everybody is kind of new here right now. Most importantly, things can change week to week. So, when I was in the U.S. Marine Corps, Udimaro Hebyongde, the U.S. Marine Corps, our sergeants used to say, you got to be flexible. You must be flexible. Things change. Environments are fluid. So, here too, we have to be flexible. 
Now, before I go on, I want to remind you that in our university system watching videos, the first time you can't change anything. You have to play all the way through. If you stop, you must start over and you have no points. But after you finish the first time, you can play slow, you can stop, restart, fast forward, etc. So if you don't understand something the first time, after it's over, you can try again. But also, I will try to provide many ways of knowing visual, audio, things you can look at off the video. Takes me a lot of time to prepare this way, but I think it will be better for you and maybe also better for me. So let's move ahead. Well, the computer is a little slow. In this first meeting, what are our learning objectives? Objective, goal, target, aim. What do I hope you will learn? First, to introduce our course our class, the Kwamok Hengjongyama. Next, I'll introduce me. Actually, I'm modest a little bit, but I want to introduce myself because you'll see the last objective is for you to introduce yourself. So I'm a little bit of a model. My third target is to introduce the materials. What are we going to study with? The systems, what are we going to learn through? That includes the CTL, books, syllabus, communications, and we'll go through this step by step. Next, maybe you'll get to know me a little bit. And finally, we'll talk about how you can introduce yourself. All right, so now I'm going to jump from this PowerPoint slide into our university CTL system, I hope. There we go. So when we come to the university system, we can see that we log in at ctl.kmu.ac.kr. Log in. Type your ID. Type your password. Log in. Such a lovely main building. Now, there's several ways to proceed from here. Personally, I'm going to shrink myself a little bit. Personally, I usually come up here to the Nekangishil. Oh, by the way, if you want to do English, you can do English and do everything in English, right? But I'm going to do it in Korean. Nekangishil home. I usually come down to Kangi Kwamo. And here we can choose which class we're joining. I'm going to join the EPA 1 class. Pardon me for a moment. Click. Go back. We get something like this. And you can change your classes at any time. You can see the classes I'm teaching. Now, my day class and my night class have the same information and the same videos. So I'm working with the day class today 
but the day class and the night class should be exactly the same. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. And what we can find here is a week by week listing. But it's incomplete. It's incomplete because things that you should do in week one, here it says March 16 until March 29, we give you two weeks to do first week work. Things to do in the first week, some things are not showing because I did the work for you to look at, but it doesn't have a date. If something doesn't have a date, then it will show when you click on the pack box. Or if something has a date, but it's not yet this date, it doesn't show. So, before we go into this further, let's take a look at the syllabus. Syllabus. Kangege Hexo. Name of the class. The code. You don't need to care about that. Our class meeting time when we go back to face to face. Now this is my day class. I also have an evening class. Tells you there are three credits for this class. Alright. It also shows you my email address. Do not be shy. Feel free to write me an email. When you write an email, please remember my Korean is basic. Think elementary school. So if you write in Korean, write it simple. I will read it or I will give it to Kakao, tra uh, Google Translate or Neighbor Translate, Papago. So make it simple. You can also see my official advising hours, but again, while we're doing only online, mostly I'm not on campus. You can also see my office phone number, but that doesn't help you very much. Much better to use my cell phone number. I'll give you that in a few minutes. Then we have the general description of the course. EPA 1 introduces students to the type of language used. The type of language used. When discussing the issues of public administration in English. So our focus is being able to talk about and understand when somebody talks about English. This includes both technical vocabulary and the structure, the grammar, the phrases that we use in academic and technical discussions. Now, again, this syllabus, Kangege Hexo, is online in the CTL. You can look at it anytime. So I don't want to spend too much time here. But a key point is we will be working also in general English, suitable for conversations, general reading, and the types of examinations common for entry and advancement in your professional life. We will talk about that more a little bit later. So what are our goals? Improve your general English. Learn English vocabulary and phrases for public administration and any kind of business office. Ah, you see this? Unfortunately, our web system doesn't love English. So it often will break words in strange places and give us uh, markings that are not the way we would do it in English. Just be flexible, adjust, keep an open mind as you read. 
If this class will help you prepare for English lectures in public administration, from me or from other professors, or in other majors, this is a basic introduction to learning subject classes in English. And we'll talk about that more a little later. Finally, a goal is to help you develop skills if you want to study overseas or work overseas work in another country. So what do you need to do in my class? Well, first, come to class on time and be present. Present to me, for me, present doesn't mean your body is here. Okay? It means your brain is here. Your brain is present, physically active. That means be on time. No sleeping. Bring your book and any assignments. Prepare for class is the second requirement. You can't just walk in and go, oh, what are we doing today? There will often be things you need to do so that you can participate in class. You can't do it instantly. So, if we have readings, at least try the readings. I know that you're new to me, and maybe your English skill isn't fantastic. I don't mind if your English is not so good. I care if you don't try. So please, at least look through the next piece of the book. Take a look at any readings online. Part 3. Take notes in class. It's required. And when there are materials on the Haksabichario, print them out. Print out anything on the Haksabichario. Now, actually you can print to PDF, you can save it on your phone or your computer. That's fine for me. But when it comes time for your test, you can use your notes. You can use your printouts. But if it's on your phone, it's much harder for you. Okay? It's an open book, open note on the test. So it's your advantage to print things out. Also, I want you to know that your notes will be graded. You have to keep a notebook. We'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. Okay. The next assignment for this class is complete all assignments. There is homework. There are small assignments. Especially with this online class where we don't talk face to face. There will be things you need to do. And you need to give them to me. Okay. So I grade notebooks. Take your notes. Requirement number five is respect your classmates. Listen when they speak. Think about their opinions. Your test can include can uh, 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 talking talking English. Your test can include information that your student, your fellow, oh my gosh. Your test can include ideas from your fellow students, your classmates. It's not only me. Alright? So listen to your classmates. Take note what they say. It could be on the test. Anything I draw on the blackboard, chalkboard, the whiteboard here, anything that I draw is probably important. If I say it and I write it, it's probably important. You want to make notes. How do we grade? It's right there. Okay, attendance 10%. Your video watching is recorded by the school. If you don't watch the video in the time that it's available, that counts as an absent. I will usually have two videos in one week. That's for two class meetings. 
Sometimes, like this week, there could be three videos. What are the, uh, how do we test it? Well, the midterm test usually has two parts. One part is a paper test, and the other part is a one-to-one -one interview. Now, we'll talk about how we grade the interview. Sometimes students vote that the interview has no grade because they're shy, they're afraid. And that could be okay. But it also means that you still must do the interview. You need the practice because the final test is only face-to-face -face interview. Your notebook includes notes from the test and any homework. Your notebook includes any notes from class. Almost the more the better. We also have some listening assignments and that will go in your notebook. Okay. Finally, participation is important. You can't just listen to this class. Now, for the first two weeks, three weeks, there are no participation points. If we stay online longer, we'll have to adjust and figure out how we can do participation. But for now, online, there's no participation. Okay, what do you need? Well, you need the textbook. Okay. Oops, I skipped. First, what do you have to do? You have to be ready to speak English every day. I don't care if your English is poor. You have to try. If we come to class and you don't do English, you're not getting your participation points. Now, again, for the first two weeks online, that's a little different. But finally, if you're not participating with your classmates, if you're not helping your classmates, because you're a good partner, you're going to lose points. Okay. So why are we doing this? Well, because English is basically important in Korea. At least, Koreans think so. Me, I'm not quite so sure. Okay. But things like TOEIC and the, TOPE, uh, the uh, English speaking test, TOEIC speaking, uh, company test, maybe part of your job, you'll go, you're going to need to be able to read and speak about the things that are important in your life. That's the 21st century. That's where we are. It is essential for your future professional employment. So the, the target of this class is to help you prepare for that future. And addition, since most of the world's important journals and most of the scholarly books are written in English, being able to handle the English of public administration resources, books, magazines, etc., etc., will help make you a leader, someone who can share the world with your co-workers, not just a follower. Now, the Kangege uh, Hexo details, the week-by-week -week schedule, I don't make one. Because I don't really believe in it. I believe that I work with the learners in this class and we make our schedule based on our skills and our interests, not following some detailed schedule. I'm not just lecturing, okay? On the video I have to talk a lot. In my class I talk much. We will work mostly through the book. We'll probably finish about eight chapters, eight units. Some days we won't use the book. We'll use other materials. I will put materials on the CTL, the e-board. And we're going to talk about that soon. In week two, we will start with chapter one in the book. And after that, we'll go along in the book according to students' skills and interests. Okay, 
So let's go back into the CTO and under week one we can see a bunch of things, a bunch of assignments. Well, don't worry about it. It's really easy and you've got two weeks to do it. But the videos, like this video, those are very time sensitive. Now, the video you can see right here is actually the class introduction video that was made several months ago. The video you're watching right now will be in this same place. And there will be a second video in this same place. But since I'm recording right now, the video's not there yet. That makes sense. So the sections in this board that you can see right now, I'm going to explain through pages that are already created on the eboard. Okay? So the first thing you want to do always will be to check notices. Alright, there's notices. Now I'm going to go back and look at these other ones. So we've got notices, we've got the lecture videos, we've got a question and answer section, we have assignments or reports or something like that. Examinations, this includes quizzes, we have a quiz. There is the, what I call the e-board, uh, where I put lots of materials up. And then there is the Jayugeshipan, or what I call the chat board, or discussion board. The school calls it a bulletin board, BBS. Okay, so those are the main sections, and I'll go through them one by one. First, let's pop into the notice board. And you're seeing the notice board the way I see it. So I have some buttons you don't have so that I can edit. But anyway... Uh, you should look at all these notices and assignments and things after this video. I'm just introducing it here. So under notice, you see my first notice, I start by saying there's a translation below. I won't usually offer translations. This time I do. It's a very simple translation because this is an English class. I'm supposed to teach in English. If you want a class in Korean, it should be taught by a, by a Korean. We have native speakers and foreigners at the university because they're supposed to teach in English. All right, so the quick introduction. Since February, Korea has been struck with coronavirus, and Daegu especially has been affected. So universities have to change their teaching style. As of now, we plan to delay the start of the semester to March 16 and then teach these first two weeks by video lecture and other forms of distance studies. I know some professors are going to do live discussions through other technologies. And there's probably some professors who are just going to record their lecture and not use much other services. Everything could change. We don't know how long things will last. So we just do our best. Be sure to look all around the CTO, this electronic area. Keep up with the videos. It's really important. They're only available for a limited time. After that, you're marked absent. And there's no cure for absence. So what I've done right here is mixed the English version with the Korean version so you can see these labels. Um, so, for example, I call it the notice board or announcements. This purple on the right is a third way to identify each section. Notices or announcements. Kangi Yongsang Xiao is called lecture video in the in one of the English systems, but you could call it a video board. And I want to remind you, there's important deadlines here. This is your attendance or absence. The next section 
Uh, they call it Q&A or, oh, I forgot the name. I can't read it here. Uh, I call it questions or Q&A. Uh, Jiri something, something. I can't remember. Quadje, they call it report. I call it assignment because report sounds scary. Uh, my son said it should be called maybe Sukje. Next we have the Hot Top Jadio Show, which, excuse me, no, uh, yeah, which the school calls the Study Reference Board, that makes no sense at all, but they also call it the PDS, which I can only guess what that means, but I call it the E-Board, the Electronic Board, and it's where I do most of my work, sharing things with you. Finally, there's the Jadu Geshipan, which uh, the university calls a BBS, which would be a bulletin board system. I call it a chat board. The chat board is mostly for you. I won't often visit there. All right. Uh, that's right there. So let's now go back. We can either use a back arrow or we can click any number of things here, like if we go here to the Kangishil, you can see the different sections. But I prefer looking at the menu, it's how I work. So, next is the uh, video section, and we can see there's a video here. Uh, because I'm in professor mode, I can't really watch this, but you can. Uh, it's about 10 minutes, as I recall. Next is the Q&A section, and I have put one notice here. If you want to raise your hand in class, Professor, Professor, I have a question. You can write it in this Q&A section, and then I'll answer the whole class. I'm not sure where. Maybe in Q&A, maybe somewhere else. If you only want to talk to me directly, you can ask through simple text message on your phone. Or you can, uh, that would be at my phone number, 010-222-720968. Or you can send me a cacao. I'm at Robert J. Dickey. Or you can send me an email at rjdickey at kmu.ecdkr. Okay, so that's Q&A. And we'll go back. By the way, I'm using, I'm just using the back arrow on my computer. I'm not doing anything really fancy and sophisticated here. Quadje. I think these are probably self-explanatory. One thing I want to warn you about is that the arrangement, the order, the listing, sometimes is upside down or right side up. I don't really understand how the computer sorts things. So you may want to look at something and for example when I click on, click on self-introduction it says you need to be ready to do your self-introduction following the guidelines that I'm going to give you later. And you need to record your voice doing your self-introduction. But that's a different assignment. This assignment says, give me your written self-introduction, the way you would say it. That means, type out a text, and then you'll give it to me. Now, your page will have a upload button, and you can upload your document to me. You also want to be careful to find out if there is a deadline. You can see your deadline is right, but it doesn't work that way. Your deadline message says not later than April 1st. That's your deadline, midnight. That means really the deadline should be March 31st, 11, 59 p.m., 59 seconds. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, that's how the assignments work. There are four assignments listed here. You can see these assignments roll into the next week. You don't have to do them during the first week. 
when there's a deadline you'll know it because it doesn't show up in the next one now for these ones I told it to stop the announcement in the second week be careful to watch assignments next we have quizzes tests and quizzes and I'm just gonna pop this to you right like this this is mine you can't see it that way but uh, you will just see the quiz I see it uh, a little differently but anyway you'll click to get a simple quiz and this first quiz I think it has two questions two questions I'm gonna jump down not the Hacksaw Chaggio Shield but the Chaggio Gisha the student board really quickly to show you the one post students discussion zone this is your place to chat I will only look occasionally if you want me to see something start your post with Prof Dickey as the first words at the top in all caps and I might not see it the first day the second day the third day the fourth day I might not see it till next week if it's really important send me a note through cacao or whatever or put it in the Q&A this is really your area okay so that's the discussion student discussion board finally we go to the Haksap Jario Shield, the e-board, what I think is the most important place. And if you look through this, you could get scared. There's already a lot. This is a way for me to help you. So it's not supposed to be too scary. Now, another thing is that in this system, on this board, the first thing is always at the bottom. When we have more and more posts, there'll be page two, page three, page four. The very first post will be the last page at the bottom. And so you can see post one says, welcome to class. Because I thought the book information was very important, I made it a kind of a notice. It gets pinned to the top. All right, I'll come back to that. First, let's go down to number one, welcome to class. Now we can click on it and it gets a little bit bigger. Hi, my name is Professor Robert Dickey. Everything is different this semester. This is very similar to the notice that I put up on top. Okay? But it's not the same. You have to check everything. Everything is different this semester as we begin a new school year with coronavirus closing classrooms it's not very convenient it's not not for you not for me nobody likes it there are some people who love distance learning there are some professors who love distance learning I have taught distance learning a few times in the past but it's different this time so we are all learning to do things in new ways so let's go slow let's be careful step by step so the e-board the Hacksaw Jario we've just mentioned it we'll be using other sections in the CTL also really really important I wish I could make this triple bold red underline you need to check the CTL system several times per week when we teach online and when we teach face to face you need to check the CTL system several times per week there will be notices there will be changes even in regular face to face if you don't check you won't know please notice that in this eboard and other places the newest things are usually at the top that's what I mentioned look down find things you haven't read be careful for deadlines okay I'm saying again and again and again be careful for deadlines if you miss it you lose if you don't finish on time you're marked absent or you don't get the points no benefits no excuses now somewhere here I have 
a document translated into Korean. Maybe it was at the notice. Was it the notice? Let's go back and look. Yeah, at the bottom of the notice has some of this important stuff in Korean. I'm not going to read it to you. My Korean reading is not that good. You go find the notice. You go take a look. All right, we're going to go back, back to that menu again. We're back to the Haksep Jario Show. Now we're going to take a look at the book. And that will be probably the end of our first recording. Not quite sure yet. So our main textbook is Global Links 1. That's the green and purple book. Be careful, there's another book, Global Links 2, that's green and kind of red. I'm using that in a different class, in EPA 3 class. You need Global Links 1. Our school bookstore should have it. You can buy it in many online shops. It's actually an older book. It's from 2001. And I have the original version. Uh, my book is pretty beat up. Pretty, pretty marked up. Pretty ugly. And my original version came with a CD-ROM. I think maybe the newer versions have a web address to download student recordings. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I have all of the recordings for students and they're attached on this page. Global Links 1 Student Audio Zip. Also attached on this file, on this post in the eboard, is many sections for the student book. The front section, the back section, the first two chapters. Because perhaps you might have difficulty getting the book in the beginning. Finally, you have to get the book. Okay. Once upon a time, I was a lawyer. So I don't allow illegal copies in my class. You can use this part of the book for the first two weeks. Please notice that the audio is in a zipped folder, a zip file. If you want to use these audios on your phone, you might have difficulty unzipping. Some phones do well. My phone is a little older and it doesn't unzip very well. So you might need to download to a computer and unzip it and then copy the folder into your smartphone. We will also be using some other materials that I will give you through the uh, CTL system. Another thing that you will need in this class, I don't think I have it marked here, yeah. Another thing you'll need in a class is a notebook. Here's a notebook. Typical, maybe B5 size, A4 size, maybe a little bit smaller than that. You don't want a tiny, tiny notebook because you have a lot of writing to do. Sometimes students get the smaller books with only 32 pages, 28 pages, something like that. And then they need to have two. But that's okay. I don't care. Uh, I don't care if your book has lines. Can you see lines on this? Or does not have lines? It's not important to me if you use a lined book or not lined book. Alright. So that is the notebook you'll use. <coughs> The next thing that I will talk about, I, I'm changing my schedule because we're at 44 minutes. The next thing I want to talk about is technology in general.
in general technology. The Edwards system, we will not be using. I don't use it for my classes. I only use the CTL in my classes. The attendance app. system. We obviously can't use it online. But even in my classroom, I usually don't use it. I don't like it. I usually call the role person by person. But here, if you don't watch the video on time, you're absent. If you watch the video online successfully through the CTL system, then you get attendance points. So the CTL is the main point in our system. Any other apps, external apps, technology outside of the CTL? Well, I haven't really decided anything yet. As we go, if we find we need something, then I will talk about it. But for now, everything can be through text messaging using my phone number 010-227-20968. You should have written that down. If not, it's on the Huxup Jario. Or my email address, rjdickey at kmu.ac.kr. Or through Kakao, you can find me at Robert J. Dickey, all one word. But please don't contact me after 10 p.m. or before 7 a.m. Unless, unless it's a real, real emergency, somebody is dying. Because I'm married and my wife gets angry when I get late contact from students. Uh, she's a young sang woman and she's a medium woman. You know, they're tough women and she, I'm afraid she'll beat me. So please, don't contact me after 10 p.m. unless it's a real life or death emergency. Just ordinary, oh, I have a question about my homework? Send an email. Oh, I usually make my cacao into sleep mode after 10 o'clock. So if you send me a cacao, I probably won't see it. It's not a perfect system. I don't really understand. Uh, the academic calendar you should be paying attention to. Here's an English version. This is the version that was sent out by school on March 5th. And they notice that the start of the spring semester is on the 16th. And we have online classes from 16 through 27, two weeks. So face-to-face -face class begins on the 30th according to the official schedule, but that could change. All right. We have our normal university holidays. Oh, that's interesting. April 1. April Fool's Day, remember? Uh, some of your assignments are due before April 1st. There's no joke. It's real. But we have some ordinary holidays, like April 15th is Election Day. And April 30th is Buddha's birthday. So the school has scheduled makeup classes. Now, originally, in the original schedule, we had 16 calendar weeks for 15 classroom weeks so that our holidays were already fixed. But now we have only 15 weeks to do 15 weeks but we have holidays. So we have official school makeup days. Okay? Hakyo Pogang. And they are on Saturdays. Yellow, 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 yellow. But we will talk about this. We have the choice to do official makeup days face to face if we're back in school, or to do makeups in the evening, 
that's hard for night students or maybe online we will talk about this I'm not yet ready to worry about this but there are four official school holidays April 15th April 30 uh, May 5 which is Children's Day um, oh May 1st is Labor Day and then the school birthday is May 20th but that one was already planned for so when we roll down we'll see that June 22 was already planned for June 22 is a Monday it is the official school birthday makeup day and that means that the final exams schedule changed it was originally from the 23rd through the 30th uh, you can't see it that way let's try it this way originally it was supposed to be this time if you have an old school calendar that's what it says but the school has changed the exams time to include much longer two-week period and the reason they did that was so that if people professors and students don't want to can't do Saturdays don't want to can't do evenings they can do makeups in this time and then push examinations later I don't want to do examinations later probably you don't want to do examinations later but let's see how things go nobody knows how long the coronavirus issue is going to last so we just have to take our time relax and kind of just work week by week all right last thing for today for this video is my speedy speedy self-introduction it's the kind of the pre-introduction to what we're doing in the next video which is self introductions so hi my name is professor Robert Dickey I'm a professor of public administration at Gaiman University in Daegu nice to meet you a little bit more for you for this first class yeah my name is Robert Dickey my family name is Dickey spell that D-I-C-K-E-Y just like Mickey Mouse uh, I've been in Korea for 25 years since 1994 I have a Korean wife she's a Midian Bakshi and I have a son and a daughter my son goes to university in the US but he went to Korean elementary school middle school and my daughter is in Korean high school now oh my son went to Daegu International School for high school so he did English high school my daughter her choice to go to Korean high school and I've been at Gimyeong Day for about 10 years before that I taught in other universities 10 years in Gyeongju a couple years in Miryang University that's now part of Busan University and that's where I met my wife and I still live in Midian. That means I commute. Tonghak. I travel back and forth from school to work almost every day. The last note uh, which relates to the calendar is I teach a graduate class on Saturdays in the afternoon. So I'm not really excited to do makeups on Saturdays. But we could. Uh, we'll see what we want to do there so for now for today I want to say thanks for joining us you've completed the first video now you can go back and play it more slowly stop and go if you like and you should take time to look at the CTL the Haksap Jario system so that 
you can be ready to succeed in my class. So now, I'm going to say goodbye. Bye-bye.